let's get into this. So today's agenda, we're going to talk about two types of video marketing, and we're going to take this for a couple weeks here because, man, I've got to tell you, video marketing is, and I'm going to tell you some stories of how powerful this can be, and we're going to, we're going to tackle some objections that I typically get, and we're going to go over some software that we needed, and um, we're going to actually share with you a video marketing strategy where, God, you have an intro and you have an exit, okay? Pretty crazy stuff that where you let somebody else do 99% of the work. You just go, hey, this is Scott, and hey, call me if you need me, right? So we're going to do some advanced video sandwich equipment in YouTube. Next week, we're going to go a little bit more advanced. Uh, I recommend going commando, but we got those people on the call that like to go advanced and like to edit their own stuff, maybe put in a intro part. They want to put in some green screen. They want to put in... Uh, whatever you want to put in. They want to put in a YouTube, like Mike and I go crazy with it. We put in all kinds of songs and different things that we want to go with it. We have some fun with it. So um, next week, we're going to cover the advanced version of that. I'm going to highly recommend going commando. Mike and I have actually went back to going commando just to save some time, and we have just as much response from it. So um, where to get daily video ideas, free content. I tell you, this is all about like, it's kind of like riding a bike. When you start off doing something new, your mind isn't used to it. You're just not used to, um, God, how do you guys come up with all these ideas? And, and once, you, once you train your mind, I truly believe you can train your mind to do anything you want, um, it just starts happening. And then you start living it. And then your kids start giving you ideas. And then your wife starts giving you ideas. It just goes on and on and on. It's pretty crazy. We always, I think Mike and I come up with two or three a week um, just driving around. So... And, and when it gets really cool is when your clients, the the people you're doing business or the people you're they sending start, them yes, to start giving absolutely. you ideas. <laughs> That's when mm -hmm. it gets really fun. And they do. They do. They remember these videos. I, and I'm going to show you a couple and I'm going to talk about them just to show you how powerful they are. So how and why to overcome the fear of video marketing. It's just so, I don't know, it's just crazy not to do this. And I know it's hard, but again, it's training your mind, just training, your, just training yourself to, to, you know, this is not an option for me. I have to do this so people get to know me faster, better, um, all kinds of different reasons. So why you should absolutely be doing videos on a weekly basis, they want to work with you, but they can't remember you. And that's such a huge 78% of the people said they would work with you again, and only 8% actually did. Why? Because they don't remember you. If you're sending weekly video, every other week video, monthly videos, they're going to remember you. And I'm going to give you some of the mindset behind this coming up right here. So here's just a couple things that you can use for videos, video business cards, happy birthday videos. I mean, how cool would it be to go record on your phone, happy birthday, um, you know, and sing happy birthday to somebody just by video instead of, you know, posting it on Facebook, happy birthday, happy birthday. Why not just sing them a song, especially a special friend, past client or something like that. Um, how about a listing video with you in the video, sharing them with oh. the, your passion for this home or the maybe your lack of passion for this home. Hey, oh my God, this needs new carpet. This needs new kitchen. This needs, I mean, there's all kinds of different stuff that you can go crazy with and be known for that person. Man, you're going to get the brutal, honest truth. You're not going to want to hear it, but this is what's going to sell this home. You could bring that to the forefront. So I know a guy that used to literally go in and rip a house apart. People loved watching his videos because he was so animated about it. And uh, he would just be brutally honest, and people actually liked that about him. So they would, you know, he got more and more and more calls. Like, okay, let's get ex, because he would get so many views and so much exposure. Why would you not go with him, even if your house needed a ton of stuff, right? People love. I mean, it's kind of like a garage sale. Uh, my stuff that I don't want anymore, or don't like anymore. Someone else's treasure, right? Your home, you're done with it. You need to upsize, downsize. You're moving out of the country, whatever. It's somebody else's treasure now. So let people know about it. The carpet you may not like may be somebody else's favorite carpet in the world. It's crazy, right? So you can't you can't put words into other people's mouth or what they like, what they don't like. So here's um here's my number one watch video, and I tell you, and let me just under explain the mindset behind this, and then we'll get into why all this works and how the the sandwich video, how you can get started with video marketing and not have to do a lot. So Mike and I, who's on, Mike's on the call with me right now. He, we do tip of the week videos every single week, and let me explain the mindset behind this. People don't want to hear about houses for sale, um, mortgage rates. They don't want to hear about time to buy a home, just sold a home, my friend, but whatever. They, the mindset behind these tip of the week videos are so you are in their everyday life. How many people on the call have a droid right now? Probably 50% of the people on this call have a droid right now, right? So if I sent you a video from me and I said, hey, ever lost your droid? Want to be able to find it? 
here's a cool app that allows you to call your number and have it ring even if the volume is on vibrate or all the way down. How cool would that be? Pretty cool, right? Now, next time you lose your droid, who are you going to think about? You're going to think about me, right? Here's another one. Here's one where I did toast your buns. Every time, how many people are having a cookout this weekend, they're cooking hamburgers and hot dogs, okay? You see this video, and I go, you know, what if you turned off the grill? It's not hot anymore. There's a couple hot dogs left. You just want to warm your buns. Put them on the toaster, push down the toaster, and voila, you have warm buns, right? Next time you use the toaster, who are you going to think about? Next time you cook hot dogs with buns that are cold, who are you going to think about? The mindset is just crazy, right? Here's a couple more. Here's Mike, a good, good friend of mine. We did video, how to remove a knot with a corkscrew. This works great. Notice in my subject line, I didn't tell you how to do it. I said how to remove it. So who's not going to I got 318 views on that. And we call this marketing equity. I think Frank Gray said it the best. He says, when you put a video out there, more and more people see it all the time. This thing right here, this one up here, how to find your droid, grows every single month with views. It just keeps getting going and going and going. I don't know if it has the right keywords for droid or whatever, but that just keeps going. Here's one, a really great realtor friend of mine. Two years ago, I did this. Is there a date on this? It was a long time ago, 302 views. If you've never heard the dash, it's a it's the the moment between you're born and you die, the dash. It's the the date between when you're born and when you die. So I, I read this and I said here's a just you know pick up the phone call somebody that you haven't talked to in a while, um you know make a lot you know just re reunite with people you you don't know how long you have. So the lady actually read this thing at her funeral. It was one of my good realtor partners. So um, some really powerful stuff. Here's another one. Did you know this about guacamole? How many people have that was one of my favorite one. I love that one. <laughs> Dude, it's so fun. So you'll notice I did green screen behind it. I'm in Kalamazoo. It looks like I'm right downtown standing in the river. Uh, but I'm not. I'm just standing in my office with a green screen behind me and I threw some green screen up there. So feel free to check out my channel. I'm not saying come and like stalk me, but I just I'm just giving you some the mindset behind what these videos are. So I just covered droid, guacamole, um, knots. How many people deal with knots in their shoes? Um, the dash, we're always dealing with people like live your life better and, you know, reunite with people you haven't reunited with in a long time. Um, all these things, if you do this every single week, we did, we've been doing this for years, and I have people come to me and go, man, I, I, if I don't do a video, they're like, hey, I haven't got a video from you. Or, oh, my God, that guacamole video was so freaking awesome. That was cool. Every time I make guacamole, I, and now my wife puts the, and, and here's the whole story behind it. If you, you know how you make your guacamole, if you put the, the, the uh, what is it called, the core of the guac back the in the actual, the, the seed back in, it'll actually stay green longer instead of turn brown. So that's the, that's the trick, and most of you probably know that, but that's the whole mindset behind it, okay? My theory, and the reason I got this on the screen, is to go commando. Just like record a video, throw it out there, make sure you have good lighting, make sure that you have good sound. they got to be able to hear you. And there's a bunch of videos where we do just just on our phone. I tell you, man, there's there's uh, there's so many good videos out there just with people recording their camera on their phone. And everybody carries their phone with them. I'm trying to get my wife to switch over to the like she wants to take pictures with a camera. I'm like, are you kidding me? The phone takes better pictures, right? You just so, got uh, to do it. Just do that it. My, that, that was my best, Arnold. Do That's it, all I got. Man. Dude, do it again, man. I like that. Just do it. There you go, man. All right, Jay Leno does a good one too. So why video? So think about this. If I was to sit here and go, okay, everybody, I'm going to flip up the screens, and you guys just read what I have on the screen, and, uh, hey, we'll see you right here next week on the Agent Mastermind. You guys would be excited, right? Well, you're kind of like watching a video right now, so you're more interested. I'm like interaction. I got stuff flying on the screen. I'm bringing up new stuff. I'm talking about new ideas. I mean, wouldn't it be silly to just have to read a screen? Kind of funny, right? Well, when you send an email, that's really what they're doing. They're trying to, they're, they're reading a screen. What if you wanted to send an email and you did it in a video format? Hey, Paul, just wanted to uh, give you an update on the uh, on your home that you're buying. I'm so excited to work with you guys. You guys are so fun to work with. Hey, just wanted to uh, let you know the inspection went great. So excited, no bugs. Woohoo! All right, so um, until next week, I'll see you guys right here. If you have any questions, just give me a call. How cool would that be instead of sending an email, right? They see your passion. They see your fun. They smiling face. There's this little thing that goes off when people smile that makes, I don't know, it's in their brain. It just it builds that connection. And it's funny how many times I go somewhere and people go, I feel like I know you already and I've never met you. 
because they've watched my videos, they see me laugh, they see me smile. I mean, Mike and I have laughed so hard that our stomachs and head hurts, you know, because it's just crazy, right? <laughs> The, the Olympics one, I think you guys had some issues trying to get oh, that man. one all the way recorded. Yeah, we get a little stupid. You think we're like drinking fools, but we never, you know, we don't even drink. So, video marketing is telling a story, right? I mean, every single thing that puts in a video, it's like you talking to people. So, when's the last time you actually read a newsletter? And, and Scotty, I can't tell you how important this particular part that you're going over. I talk to on a daily basis talking to people. These newsletters, guys, yes, it's a fantastic way to keep your name in their inbox, but the reality is, in, I mean, this picture says it all. That's yeah. what people see. I mean, no one's re It's They got your name in their inbox. That's cool, but the message is not being delivered. Who wants Absolutely. to read that stuff? I mean, Scotty, when you get the newsletters, do you read them? No, I delete them. No, I can't. I mean, it's just like and, so and hard. And those of us on the call, yeah. I mean, most of us, if we're being honest with ourselves, my guess would be 80% of the people on the call don't read even the first bit of the newsletter, much less the whole thing. Green screen. So um, Jeff Carter's asking a good question. You got that. I think you got that covered. So, all right. So let me just cover the strategy really quick and um, overview of strategy. So find a viral video, and I'm going to show you how to find them. It's really super simple. I found a couple last night. I'm going to see if you guys know what they are. And then we'll go from there. So insert the intro. And I'm going to show you what the intro is. And we're going to insert the call to action. you got to have a call to action every single time you do anything. You have to let them know. Remind them of what you do for a living and say, refer your friends, family, and coworkers. Look forward to seeing you here right here next week on the tip of the week. Stuff like that. Your intro, viral video, your call to action. Now, you guys go, man, Scott, you make it seem so easy. But if you literally repeat that same script over like what they say, 70 times it becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of practice. I'm nobody special. I just do special things. I just When I go for a walk, I say what I want to talk about or I say what I know is going to be best for my clients when I have conversations with them Like, or I say what my intro script is and my ending is or it's amazing now how you, it, after you start doing this stuff, how you just literally come up with a script right off the top of your head. Mike and I do it all the time because we do it so much. It's just crazy. And then after a while, you're like, okay, that sucked, do it again. That sucked, do it again. And then all of a sudden, one take, you're done. Wow, that was cool, right? You're off to something else, okay? So how you benefit? Eliminates camera sinus. The cool thing about and you, this will all make sense. So if you have camera sinus, which everybody on the call does, I'm sure, been there, done that, I had it. I used to spend a half hour just getting it right. This helps you with that, okay? Uh, and, and I can't stress enough, be yourself. If, you, if I was to meet you at an event, you'd come up and say, hey, Scott, how's it going, right? Same thing, just do it in, Just do it to a camera. Pretend like you're meeting me or meeting a great friend of yours or meeting Paul or whoever it is. Just, just pretend like you're meeting us, right? Hey, this is Scott. Look forward to talking to you, whatever. Eliminates, uh, do not, don't know what to say because the hardest part is uh, you kind of think too much about what you're trying to say. So you just forget. You just kind of lose train of thought. I'm sure we've all been there. I've been there, done that. The best Odds character are, you can be for your videos yourself. is yourself. I show me in the video who it is I would meet if you if we met each other for coffee or if if we bumped into each other at the at the happy hour before the game. Correct. I mean, the toughest part about me doing these webinars is I, I'm I feel like I'm standing in a, in the think about this. You're in a football stadium. You're in the middle of the end zone. And there's nobody in the stands, and I got to give a presentation. I have no interaction. I have nobody smiling, nobody laughing, nobody cheering, nobody going boo, nothing. I don't know if you guys are excited right now. I don't know if you're happy. I don't know if you're multitasking. All I know is I have to bring as much as I can value to these calls. The same thing with the video. Just let people get to know you, right? You still get the bonding and trust. That's the cool part about this. You still They still see you, hear you, and get to hear your voice, all right? Super cool is to do this with your loan officer partner, do the video sandwich with them, and kind of go back and forth with it. They, they send to the insurance company database. I have an insurance company agent that has 3,000 people in his database. We're going to have a class coming up with Robert Gowell. I think you guys have seen it on the Facebook page that literally he is – it's just an amazing class. I got to see him present it down in Florida last week at our mastermind awesome group. Awesome stuff, yes. I got oh to be part of that God, as well. Man. Really, really, like, I, really I mean, good I, stuff. I, Oh, yeah, I've taken a bunch of notes and a bunch of little one-liners that he threw out there. He's just a really good dude. And he oh, I've got really three pages business. in my notebook from that one. I mean, it was a 25-minute presentation. I, I got three pages know, of notes. So basic. 
they're so basic. There's nothing to buy. So it's really good stuff. So here's where we have a little fun. So we got talk about the old uh, the old phone. Now, if you still have one of these, probably gonna have to have a talking to you. So um, remember these phones, man. These were these were good. <laughs> My buddy <laughs> actually had one of those babies. I got that thing. Here's the iPhone 11. I, I got my order in. I don't know if you guys ordered one of yours yet, but here's the iPhone 11. So you could use that, <laughs> which is really cool. I like this thing, a little T. You know, it's easy to hang on to because, like, you know, look, you could use it for a cross, whatever, however you want to do it. Now, in reality, most people carry one of these. And, and for the girls on the call, I got a little bling for you. So here's a bling iPhone. A little bracelet, a little cool. iPhone bracelet. So I wanted to make sure everybody was included here on the call today. So there you go. Pick your, pick your poison, or you could just pick up your phone and just record it, right? A couple things you'll need is the real player. Now, Paul um, alerted me before the class. He said, Scott, you don't even you need a real player, but you don't need to pay for it. You just need a free version. So why don't you share a little bit about, like, like it converts video to MP3, which is what it shows here. And so why don't you share a little bit about that if you can, or if that, is that cool? Could say that one that? more time. Yep. So, so, so the only with the real player, it, it used to be that you had to buy the the upgraded version. It would rip some videos, but not all. And and converting was an issue. I have found recently that the free version you can rip in the end everything. I've just using it today to to get ready for this, Scotty. I tried it on four sure. or five videos um, on YouTube just to make sure I could. So what okay. ripping, when I refer to ripping, what I mean by that is going to an internet site, watching a video, like the viral video that you'd like to, to use for your video, yeah. and then downloading that video onto your computer so you're ripping it off the internet and, and creating a file of that video for yourself. Okay. That's what Real Player does. The free okay. version does it, and I've also found that within the free version, during the conversion, there is a section that says for for iPhone 4. If you select iPhone 4, mm -hmm. it's converting it to an MP4. Okay. That's the okay. same as an cool. MP4 file. So we can actually okay. use that for free okay, in cool. our editing softwares. There you go. There's a little secret. So when you when you download, and we're going to show you this next week, we're going to show you how the power behind real player and how you can literally, like right there, I circled it right here, download internet videos to make them your own right there. Really, really cool. So that's how we do some of the stuff. We're going to show you that a bit more advanced version next week. How to put all this stuff together. Um, the the paid version, I think it's they actually give you a discount or whatever. If you go to their site and and, and shy away from it, then it actually gives you a discount. Oh, here's a here's a code. It's thirty nine bucks or ten dollars off or twenty five percent off or whatever. So um, I did buy the paid version, but I don't. Paul's saying it's not necessary. Just use convert it to the the MP four. Yep. All right, here's another one that we're going to share next week. I just want to share with you guys. If you already have it, great. It's Adobe Premiere Elements 11. Um, here's the cool thing. I Googled this last night, and Amazon had it for $59, Paul. $59. There you go. So Adobe, make sure it has the Premiere in it, okay? If you but get Adobe Elements there. without Premiere in it, you are only going to be edit, able to edit photographs. The Correct. Premiere is for editing video. Right. So it, it, I have had so a lot of people have made that mistake. You're going to find Adobe Elements 11, and it's going to be a little cheaper than the 59, 655. Right. Right. You will also find things that come up for Adobe Premiere Elements 11 that will show like twenty dollars. Those are instruction manuals and books. Don't don't buy those. Right. Just make sure you're getting the the actual software download. Correct. Cool. All right, so um, websites, the only one I've ever used, I mean, there's other ones out there, but I'm telling you, YouTube has everything. So you can Google songs, you can Google uh, word phrases. We use a ton of phrases from Jim Carrey, Adam Sandler, um, who's at Chris Farley. I mean, <laughs> there's just, it goes on and on and on of one-liners that they have. So we rip the video down, use that one-liner in one of our videos, and then sandwich those together. So I'm going to talk about that here in just a minute. Okay, so your intro, all right? Here's the intro, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you really quick how to find like a viral video. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you here in just a second because I got it on here. So let me just go one further. So you grab the camera or iPhone, and for Paul's case, you grab a Droid. I know I had to. Had a boy. Heard a little. Threw a real right phone now. in there this time. I like it. So here's the uh, the new. I uh, mean, a lot of good things about the Samsung G4, or whatever, or, uh, Note 4, or whatever it is. 
So um, intro video. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. Video creates bonding and trust better than anything other than one-on-one -on -one appointments, okay? You cannot beat one-on-one -on -one appointments. Um, and, for, of course, phone call is good, too. You want you in the video so they bond and trust with you so that you want to work with you, right? So the intro video, try to get out of your office. Let them get to know you. Include friends and family. Of course, puppy dogs rule. I mean, it's just something about pets. It's like love pets. It gets forwarded more, gets shared more, all that fun stuff. So, don't be the don't don't like, wear your normal stuff. Don't try to be the newscaster. Carl always tells me when I first start out, he goes, "Don't use your radio voice." I'm like, "Okay," mm -hmm. which means talk normal. Don't talk in like a "Hey, is it, is it, you know that type of thing. Just be normal, <laughs> talking there, normal conversation. It's harder to do than you think. And and I always have abs, that. I, that's what I was getting ready to say, Scotty, is that it, that sounds really easy to just, yeah, talk yeah. in a normal voice. It is actually a little bit hard. harder than you think it may be to talk in a normal voice because you know right. you're doing video. The key to it is is right. to just visualize that you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody and speak sure. as if you were meeting them right then and there. In a higher sure. tone, you want your volume to be up a little bit, but you don't want right. to, hey, thanks for checking me out on this great video. <laughs> Right, right. Like you know how some people go, man, he was in my face. He was just totally in my face, and really he wasn't. He just sounded like he was. That's that. that that's what Paul's talking about. Yeah, talk like you were talking to a friend. Like I'm just talking to you right now. Hey, you want to share something with you? How's it going? Hey, you, you guys will not believe this. This is so funny, right? Normally, like you would call him up on the phone and talk to him. Here's the script. And hey. I just want to, real quick, Scotty, let me just answer this yeah. question because a lot of people are asking the same question and it's filling up in here. Yes, Mac users, for your editing software, your Macs come with an, a program called iMovie built in. Several are asking the same question here. Yes, that, that will do the same as what Adobe Premiere Elements does. Sorry, Perfect. I didn't mean to stop you there, oh, Scotty. Cool. I think that was a popular question. wanted to cover that. Okay, so I want everybody to practice this with me. Everybody on the call, I want... Hundred like there's 297 people in the car right now. So say this. Hey, this is insert your name. Check this out. So hey, this is Paul Baxter. Check this out. Okay. Was I radio like, voice there? Everybody got that? Voice? No, no, that was good, man. Hey, this is Scott. Check this out. Right? They're gonna want to see what's next, right? Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Hey, this is Scott. This is so funny. Check this out. You can add a little bit to it, but that's all you have to do. Now, I know everybody on the call can 100% do that. Everybody good with that? All right, here we go. That was your intro, okay? Picking a viral video. Does everybody know this one? Does, is there anybody on the call that doesn't recognize this video right here? I know anybody? it. I know it. Anybody on the call? All right. All right. Oh, this James doesn't know it. My finger. I did the numbers on this last night. Check this out. There is 534,680,772 views on this thing. That's almost everyone in China. That's everyone in China. Everyone in China has seen it. Almost, that. almost. Okay, here's the question. How about this one? Who has seen this one? Not me. Mm -hmm. Not you? Ain't nobody got time no. For that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, okay. That's the ain't nobody got time for a video. Yes, I have seen that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that this video has fifty, like forty-eight million or fifty-four million views. It's just it's, it's so funny. And the one I actually watched was a remix of it. It was really really good. It was really good. So that one, great viral video. Hey, you guys got to check out this lady that her, her her place was on fire, and she didn't have time for that. You know, I mean, what a great intro, right? I mean, so here's the whole mindset behind this guy. So you have an intro. Hey, this is Scott. Check this out. Goes to Charlie Bit My Finger. Now, every single time I share this in a room of 50, half of the room raises their hand and says, I haven't seen it. Half of the room says, oh, my God, I've watched it 10 times, okay? So my point is don't overthink this. Don't think, oh, everybody's seen it. No, and if they've seen it, they will watch it again. But now... Guess who's tied to it? You are. If they forward the video, who do they see? They see you. They see Scott. They see whoever. So what do you think the question is going to be? Who is that? Oh, that's Scott, my, my real estate agent. He helped me sell my house. He helped me buy a home. Oh, my God, he's awesome. He sends these videos every week. It's just hilarious. Make somebody laugh. Make somebody smile. Give somebody one minute of happiness throughout the week. 
and they will remember you forever. I'm telling you guys, this is my biggest success that I've had. People get to know me, like me, and trust me without me even meeting with them. When I meet with them, it's just that much easier. When I call them, when they refer somebody, usually it's a video that was referred. Call this guy, watch the video. It's hilarious. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you day. It'll make you smile. Whatever it is, be the ray of sunshine, okay? I can't stress that enough. There's your viral video. If you go to YouTube and Google, um, the Google, there's the ray of sunshine. So be a ray of sunshine. What kind of videos are best? Not sad ones. You don't want to make somebody go, man, I just, holy crap, I feel like crap, right? That's terrible, right? Don't do that. Be the ray of sunshine. Be the rainbow. Don't use people getting hurt and make sure you watch the video all the way through. If, you, uh, if, if you're not careful, sometimes there's the F-bombs that come out. There's people swearing. There's just some stuff that isn't, isn't good. So if their kids are sitting there with them and watching at the same time, you got to be really careful with that. So make sure you watch the video all the way through before you use it. Um, and, and have some fun with it, right? What not to post? Don't be yelling back, like videos that are yelling back and forth. It's just not good. Um, never, ever, ever talk religion and politics. You'll piss off 50% of the people instantly as soon as they open the video, okay? You just you can't win that fight. Unless you want to take on that battle, just just don't go there. It's just not healthy, okay? And you're, not, you're not trying to win a religion contest or a politics contest. You're trying to build relationships and go deep with people let them get to know, like, and trust you, okay? I'm not trying to upset anybody about your religion is your religion, but just be careful when you're sending it out there because half of the people are going to be that and half of the people aren't. And, you, like, you don't want to lose half of the people that aren't, right? Unless that's your choice, right? Paul, we want to leave that uh, up to them. Yeah. Where to find viral videos? Well, the best place is YouTube. I found that one last night. So if you go to YouTube and search funny video, strange but true, I love that one, Funny people and funny animals. I don't know if you guys have heard the, seen the one, the dog, the talking dog. It's hilarious. Oh, that's one of so my favorites fun. of so, all time. Remember at the beginning where I said puppies ring or dogs, like animals ring free? Like, so if you had a, a sandwich video where you have an intro, you put in the dog talking. So now you're, you're solidifying the pet. That thing's going to get views. It's going to get forwarded. It's going to get shared. All kinds of fun stuff, right? What if the video has been seen already by a lot of people? Talked about this already. Many people still haven't seen it. How many people on the call haven't seen Charlie Bit My Finger? I bet you there's half of the people that are on this call haven't seen it. Viral videos get more views every single day. Somebody just pop up there? Not me. See, so Steve, Steve Grow hasn't seen it. All right. Okay. How many times have you watched a video more than once? Uh, I don't know. I watch them the same. I watched Charlie Bit My Finger probably 100 times now, right? So I watched it the other night when I was doing this this uh, this PowerPoint. I'm like, you know, this is hilarious. I, it's no wonder it has 540 million views. It's just hilarious. Use it and send it out. Stop overthinking it, all right? So extract using Real Player. I'm just going to walk through really quick. I'm not, not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, but free download. You're going to run it. And this, uh, again, you can get access to this PowerPoint that kind of walks you through it. And, you know, again, if you have any questions whatsoever, say, hey, I'm stuck on this part. I downloaded the video to Real Player using Real Player, and now what do I do? Like, that's the part we're going to cover next week. But after that, I mean, any questions you have, hey, I downloaded Real Player, now how do I open it? That's a good question, right? So go to, you know, the Facebook group. Say, hey, how do I open Real Player to actually make this thing work? So this kind of walks it through. Download this video. It's going to download it. Here's the, that's the one anyway, the dog tease, ultimate dog tease, where the dog, the German Shepherd, I think it's just, just to, the guy does it. Or he just wants the him. maple syrup kind on the bacon. Just, yeah, yeah. so the cat, yeah, I, um, I took a piece of bacon out of, the, out of the refrigerator. Yeah. And the dog's going, yeah. And I, and I added a piece of cheese to it. Yeah. And, um, and then I gave it to the cat. Oh, no! <laughs> you know, it's, it's so funny. It's so funny. Sorry, we get a little crazy sometimes. But this stuff is what people makes people smile. Hopefully, you just laugh a little bit there, smile a little bit. That's what this is all about, is just giving being that ray of sunshine for somebody. So here's where Paul's like, click convert. Convert. So I've downloaded Ultimate Dog Tees, and I click the convert button. And um, here's where you just choose iPhone 4, right, Paul? Yep iPhone 4, I got WMV, if that's the paid version, and click start, and boom, this thing going to go real quick, depending on your computer speed, of course, and then it's uh, going to put it into a folder for you, which is going to look like this. So here's the original version. I'm sorry, here's the FLV format. Here's the WMV version. So 
you want iPhone 4 or WMV for your for this particular purpose. All right. It's going to create a little folder for you that's going to call Real Player Downloads. And uh, let me just show you where that's at. Uh, no, discard. So I'm just going to go right down to here. If you notice, if I go to computer, on my computer, you guys can see all that, right, Paul? Mm -hmm. Computer, if I click on videos right here, you're going to see a little Real Player Downloads right here. All right. Yeah, it creates it's when you download the software it it automatically creates a folder inside of of your videos library right. and then when you rip it's automatically saving it there when you convert it's automatically saving it there Plus so you don't right ever have in, to hunt and right. find your downloads and little yeah. things like that so here like here's a trailer the psycho trailer here's the little here's a trailer that I've downloaded from from YouTube that I used in one of my videos so you guys are familiar with that one the the psycho trailer where the guy's walking into the house the psycho you know this uh, Alfred Hitchcock so I use that as far as like one of the being boring you know old school type thing it's just dude, it's cr it's crazy to have fun with this stuff right and as your mind goes you're gonna want to spend time with it you got to be careful with that because <laughs> it you the the one thing I don't want you to do is spend all day doing the video I want you to spend five minutes ten minutes maybe thirty minutes and then get the video out there okay that's the key get get that's it out the there. Yeah, that's the key. So now we got to go for call to action. Now I love to call to action. Hey, don't keep me a secret. Refer your, you know, make sure you tell your friends, fam forward this to your friends, family, and coworkers. And I look forward to seeing you right here next week on the tip of the week. You know, um, if they know, if, if you've met them or you've done business with them, they know who you are. Hey, don't keep me a secret. If any of your friends, family, and coworkers are looking to buy or sell a home, hey, refer them to me. I have an amazing team in place. Look forward to working with you again, and I'll take care of them as, as the same I took care of you, right? Stay in front of them. Time to grab the phone. Here's the formula. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? That's, the, that, that's at the end. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? Wasn't that hilarious? So you got the beginning. Here's what I got. Here's how it will benefit you. Here's what you need to do next. Here's what I got. Here's who I am. Here's how it'll benefit you. Here's what you need to do next. Real simple. You can say it in 30 seconds. What I want you to do is start watching commercials. If you if you watch a commercial in 30 seconds, they do those three things. Here's what I got. Here's how it's, here's how it'll benefit you. Here's what you need to do next. Pick up the phone and call me. Shoot me an email. Hit me on Facebook. Hit me on LinkedIn. Wherever you hang out, do that. If you tell them to do it, guess what they'll do? They do it. Tweet they do me that. Up, whatever. Tweet me. Tweet me, Facebook me, call me, email me, however, whatever easiest for you, just uh, don't keep me a secret, right? Here's what I got. This is, uh, this is the thing that you will do well, your unique USP, so unique selling proposition. So whatever that is, however, if you have a saying, if you have a brand, if you have something that people know you by, a lot of people have like Dr. Phil or, you know, if they have something Remember, I'm the doctor in the mortgage business. I'm the dumb doctor in real estate. Whatever it is you're saying, you're a real estate agent for life, whatever it is, um, just you can use that. that. There's your call to action, right? Um, hey, uh, hey and, and, and depending on the video, we always throw different call to actions in there. Like maybe we're doing one on uh, what not to put in your eyeball, right? Hey, you can put this. Me and Mike did it. <laughs> it was hilarious. You can put this in there. You can put that in there. You can put this in there. So, hey, uh, if you're thinking about selling your home, call us and ask us how to get 40,000 eyeballs that will see your home is for sale. Or here's another one, your own personal free website just for your home. Hey, you want to separate yourself from the competition? Call us and we'll let you know how we can get you, you can get your own free single property website just for your home. How about, um, hey, struggling a little bit, trying to figure it out? Run into some roadblocks. Maybe you're talking about, um, I don't know, maybe some sort of tip of the week video where, or maybe a funny video where somebody runs into a brick wall. Hey, have you run into a brick wall with your credit? Can't get anywhere, can't, can't get anything financed? Give me a call. I can help you get on the right track, get mortgage ready, get real estate ready, whatever it may be. So there's always ways to tie videos into the call to action. And I'm just thinking these up as we go along. But I'm telling you, if you train your brain, it just starts to happen, doesn't it, Paul? I mean, it's pretty cool stuff.
it's it um, becomes second nature to you the more and more yeah. you do it. Yeah. I've got a I've got a guy that that just started a couple of years in and finally getting his first videos going. He was telling me the other day he started off with taking other people's ideas, but three weeks into it, he's already. Oh, I've got great. I mean, I, I ideas are just coming. I can't do enough videos for all the ideas I've got for videos. Right. There's just one here. And, and here's here's one, and just a, here's a here's a here's one that will stick with you. So, I, I 300 people on the call right now will go. Every time you go to get a repair, I'm going to give you a tip of the week right now, okay? And you're going to think of me every time you do this. So, there's this phone app called Repair Pal. R E P A I R P A L. It's got a little picture of a car. The repair is in the car, and it says car care confidence. So every time you hear, or every, every time you have to get some work done on your car, it gives you an idea of what that should cost. So if you need a new alternator, you go in here and say, I need a new alternator. Here's my car. Here's about what it should cost. So you don't get taken to the cleaners, right? An amazing app. It's really cool, right? So now when you go, if you download that app, and I give you that, and you're a customer of mine, or you're a past client of mine, who doesn't need work on their car? Is there anybody on the call that doesn't drive a car right now? Is there anybody that you've ever worked with that didn't meet you at a home in a car? So give them a reason to download a free app to get an idea of what something should cost and who they're going to think about when they go to get their car fixed. You, stuff like that is, I can't even tell you guys how powerful this is. It's not about selling homes. It's not about buying homes. It's about becoming their, like, person that they think of, their top of mind person, okay? So your intro, your viral video, your call to action, failure, success. The piece, the missing, like, um, it's time to put these pieces together. So you got your intro, the viral video we covered, and the call to action. So we're going to show you next week how to put all this together. So what I want you to do is start watching commercials, 30-second commercials, go to YouTube, start getting a feel for uh, funny videos, um, strange but true videos, stuff that's weird. Start looking at different things. Like I always look for signs that are kind of weird that I could tie something to. Like turn left. Hey, are you stuck in that like a left turn lane? Are you guys a big racer fans and you're stuck on that left hand turn? Like left hand turn 24 seven. Well, if you want to ever turn right, just give me a call. Or you like find something crazy like that. You know, just crazy stuff. Uh, put the piece together. Adobe Premiere Elements. Where to host your videos. I, I, I everybody's a little bit different on this, but I use YouTube because YouTube's the the number one largest search engine in the world. They're like four videos, so anybody wants to see a video, they're going to go to YouTube. There's nothing else that even compares, and Google yep. owns it, so I'm going to put it there. Uh, Facebook is the probably this probably the largest. So, well, it is the largest social media site on planet Earth. The number cool part two about visited is, website in the U.S. What's what? Visited number two visited website in the U.S., number two only to Google. Okay, so, wow, okay. So you got Google who owns YouTube. So you got Google, Facebook, and then YouTube. Google's in the top three, right? So it's just a good place to be, all right? Two of the top three, actually. Top three. So if you don't, what I want you to do is get a YouTube account. If you don't have a Google account, or if you already have a Google account or a Gmail, you already have a YouTube, you just need to go set it up. So when you're logged in, go click on your YouTube channel, or the YouTube button right at the top. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So, if, and I want you to get this set up. So when we do this next week, you guys can do this. So YouTube, you go to. Oops, I'm sorry. You go to Google, and you'll see this little YouTube button right here. Click on it, and it'll take you to your channel. If you don't have a channel, it'll say set up a channel. All right, set up your channel. Get that set up so we can rock and roll next week. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Go back to this. There's that. Fill in the blanks. Real simple, real easy. Um, sign into your new account if you already have it. And then you're going to click on channel. And then this is how to upload your video. This is, and we'll talk about this next week after it's the finished product. But I want you to, one, kind of play around with viral videos. They're a lot of fun. Um, don't send them out. The, the, your want is to go, i got to send this out to my database. This will be so cool. Don't do it. I want you to have an intro video first an exit video, which is your call to action, and I want you to sandwich them together. That's what we call it, sandwich videos. And, and trust me, it, it'll it'll pay off in spades. Just wait one week, okay? And then pick your video you want to upload, and we're going to, um, your video options in YouTube, and you just upload your video into YouTube, okay? And then um, how to embed it. We're going to show you next week how to take your video and one, upload it to directly to Facebook. What I would prefer is you 
actually take the YouTube link, the copy the link right here, and put that into Facebook. So now you're getting double, because if you only put it in Facebook, it will show up in the search engines, but not as powerful as YouTube does. So you kind of got two. You got one, it's on Facebook now, it's going to show up there, plus it could possibly show up on YouTube to get more views or more forwards or whatever it may be, okay? So where to post? Chamber of Commerce, fan page, your fan page, your personal page with referral partners, popular fan pages of your prospects. Think about this. Have you ever went to the city of like your local city? Your city probably has a Facebook page and you're doing a tip of the week video on the, maybe the event coming up this Saturday or Sunday. Why not post it there? Let people see it, right? All right. Um, where to post and then, uh, whoops, here I'm not showing this full, full blown here. Uh, LinkedIn groups, your website, email it out, put a link on your newsletter, put a link on your referral partners newsletter, insurance companies, local businesses, YouTube, TubeMogul. TubeMogul is if you want to, um, here's, here's a little trick, watch this. So has anybody ever heard of Fiverr? Fiverr.com, check this out. So say you just did a video and you want to blast your video out to all the local websites, you're like, I don't even know the local websites, I don't even know where it is. Blast a video. I've never, I've never searched for this, but create a blasting logo intro, manually submit video to four sites, a plus 2,000 backlinks. Create an awesome voiceover. What, what else would I search for here? Submit um, so a video spin, spin my video. Video syndication. Video syndication, okay, there you go. Spelled video I, wrong. Yeah. No. Video syndication. Or syndicate uh, my video. Video syndication. That's going to have a few. Yep. Video. Give, uh, let's see, syndicate your press release to hundreds of websites. Five bucks, guys. So somebody out there has a way to submit a video to just about every site out there on planet Earth. So right? for, to fit, wait, that one, syndicate my, my, my uh, what was it, my press release to how many websites? Here's the syndicate your YouTube video. So let me just see this. Syndicate, so let's see what he says. Fiverr, so provide a link to one YouTube video and I will share your video on my social networks using my social sharing account. You will receive additional syndication as well. So I, I don't, didn't give enough yeah, information He's not there. telling me enough there to pay him five bucks for anything. Yeah. Um, so if I did a press release to hundreds of websites, so my press release could simply be, hey, this, this, New information. Paul Baxter is now doing video marketing. Do a press release for that and include the link right. to my first video. Right. That's syndication, right? That's syndication, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, hey, how about this? Here, here, how about um, how about status updates? Right. Status updates for your uh, loans in process. Hey, and personal personal updates. You can make them generic if you wanted to. Hey, just want to let you know your appraisal came in. It's it looks great. No repairs are needed. Um, I'll let you know when the next thing comes in, or I mean, whatever it is. But if it says, "Hey, Paul, hey, just want to drop you a quick, quick little video, let you know that your uh, your appraisal came in. You know, it's been so exciting working with you guys. We're getting close to the end. Really look forward to wrapping this up, and getting you guys in your new home before school starts. Blah blah blah. Right? How crazy would that be? Just crazy, because nobody's doing it. Right? They're gonna remember you forever. All right. So I hear this all the time. This is this is what kills me. It's not good enough. I hate the way I look. But you'll walk into a restaurant, you'll walk into a listing, you'll walk in and you start talking like it's no, like it, like there's no problem whatsoever. But you turn on that camera, it's like, God, I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I sound. You know who I'm said sorry, it best, and it, and it struck so me. What's that? Robert said it best when he was at that presentation the other day. You know that he hears it all the time when when he's talking to to his new agents. Are you doing video marketing? Oh no, I don't like the way I look. Well. Guys, girls, I, I apologize if, if I'm offending by saying this. I'm, I apologize in advance, but we look like what we look like. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. I look like what I look like. Scotty, you look like what you look like. Bill, you look like what you look like. Michelle, you look like what you look like. Yeah. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. None of us on this call, if, if, if you got a call right now today that said, hey, I'd love to to do business with you, but we need to meet at the Starbucks. I want to meet you face to face. Would anybody shy away from that face to face meeting? No. Absolutely not. No. Not a single one of us would. So why would we shy away about putting 
we look the exact same on video as we do face to face I promise you that so Correct. don't be afraid to put your face out there because that's who you are that's who you are yep so um, good enough now now good enough isn't good enough when you're talking about employees but good enough is good enough when you're talking about video marketing you gotta have good sound you gotta have the three here's what I got here's how it's gonna benefit you here's what you need to do next and you can do all that in 30 seconds to a minute never more than two minutes on the video and we're gonna share that with you next week so good enough is good enough and, and it's far better than the video you will never send out would you agree far better than the video that never goes out so I'm telling you guys this is a game changer in your real estate business we're gonna be covering a lot of cool stuff that's game changers the video marketing is by far if you were to drop me out of a helicopter and say Scott what, what would you do first well I gotta let people get to know me how am I gonna do that well I gotta start I got I gotta I got to let that I gotta get out there and let people know so one I'm gonna start visiting, visiting local business owners I'm gonna start doing videos with them become the local guru and not only think about this so here's the conversation I had with my personal trainer I said I said who is the face uh, the, the the place is called West Hills I said who's the face of West Hills West Hills has nobody like when I think of West Hills I just think of West Hills it's, it's just a place where we work out right I said you could be the face of West Hills. People would think that you owned West Hills if you start doing videos about personal training, personal health, different muscle groups, how to do different exercises, how to use um, weight bands when you're on vacation. They literally would come in and go, hey, is Christy here? I need, I'd like to speak with the owner. And she's just a personal trainer. I'm telling you guys, this thing is off the charts powerful. And people think you own, like if you're a Keller Williams agent, they would literally just assume that you were the owner of Keller Williams if you start doing Keller Williams videos. And I'm not, I'm not affiliated to Keller Williams, so I shouldn't say, you know, whether it's Coldwell Banker, Remax, whatever, your own brand, whatever it is, you would just, it looks like you were the owner because your, your face is out there. People start seeing you. They start relating. They see your sign and start relating the sign to you. It's just, it's so crazy. So sorry to go off on a tangent there. And I'm not saying any one name to insult anybody. I'm just saying that's what it is. So to upload, here's the crazy thing about Facebook is you can upload a video to Facebook and it only is on Facebook. It's not, I mean, it's not anywhere else. So that's the cool part about it. And you can host it there. Now, I recommend do both. If you're going to do that, do it on YouTube as well, just so you have more exposure just in case, okay? All right. And, um, what, and I kind of did a couple pictures like how you do this. So add a photo. You click on add a photo. You click on upload photos or videos, and then boom. So little review here. Record intro video. Pick out viral video on YouTube, Google, or break.com. A couple extra ones there if you want. Download viral video using Real Player. Record call to action video. Put three videos together and fuse them together using Adobe Premiere Elements, which we're going to do next week. So a couple steps. I want you to make sure you have a YouTube account. Make sure you have uh, – um, start practicing your videos. Start – I mean, I know it's I know it's kind of crazy, but practice the intros, practice the call to actions, get to where it sounds good. All right, place new fuse video everywhere, rinse and repeat with insurance, title company, referral partners, in conjunction with your loan officer. All right, questions? Um, I think I've gotten through most of them. A couple have come up um, regarding. Let me see. Um, so John's, John had a question on the PC I downloaded Real Player and it's not working on Firefox but it did work on Internet Explorer so if you've had that issue if you're a Firefox user you will need to go into the settings in Firefox and allow for the extension to actually work there will be a little a little warning sign and you just have to enable or allow that extension to work if you're using Chrome Typically, when you download it, it will it will ask you that during the download. If it does not, you will need to go and enable that extension as well in the settings on on Chrome. Also, lots and lots of people asking. Um, obviously, we t covered a lot a lot of stuff today, guys. Right. Yes, we did record it. Um, Scotty, are you going to make the PowerPoint available for us all? Absolutely. Contact awesome. the loan professional that's saying here, so um, they they will have a copy of it for you. Um, so, so let's just write down a couple of steps that you that, that that I would like you to do. One is, and they're they're real easy. One is uh, start with um, your uh, Google account. Make sure you have a Google account, which is you're going to be your YouTube account. 
click on YouTube and get your channel set up. Set up, sorry for my crazy writing here. I'm just going to blow this up a little bit. Um, let's see. And then uh, uh, search, search um, viral videos. In YouTube, search, search strange. Pick like, what, what I want you to do is pick out what you want to do first. But true, um, all kinds of cool stuff there. Oops, S E A R. Um, YouTube likes to be capitalized in both both thing there. So um, th there's that too. And then um, get your phone ready. I'm gonna say practice. And if anybody is, is wants to just jump right out there and do a video of something, I don't care what it is, just do do a, a cool tip of the week video on some crazy thing that we can all relate to, like I gave you one. If anybody wants to do that, I'll tell you what, I will um, I will personally send you something cool. I don't want to say movie tickets, but that's not cool. I, I will send, I'm going to send a video camera to somebody that, that, that steps out of their comfort zone, does a video and post it on Agent Mastermind Facebook page, okay? I'm going to send you a personally a video camera. So there, practice. Get it out there, post it for us, let us see it, all right? Anything else, Yes, Paul? it will. Uh, Mary, it will probably work best with an Android phone, probably better than, <laughs> than the iPhone. So yes, Mary, and thank you for asking that awesome question. Yes, this will absolutely work with your Android phone. Your Android phone has an amazing camera system, and it will record in a in really great quality. Um, better audio than I believe the iPhone offers. Oh boy, here we go. God, my ears are starting to hurt for some reason. I'm just killing myself. <laughs> and Jeff Kirkpatrick said, stuff it with the droid stuff. <laughs> you're, you're right, man. You're right. I just like to give Scotty a hard time. Uh, sweet. No, we're all good, man. We're all good. Hey, whatever you got, use it. Now, if you got the bag phone, that probably is not going to work. If you got a flip phone, probably not going to work. So you're going to have to get uh, something that has a video. If you have a camera, if you have a video camera, perfect. Use it. Pull it out. Dust off the dust. Like I'll wipe tell off you, the dust. for me, Scotty, the easiest yeah. place to do a, to do the video is sitting right in front of my laptop computer. I go into my YouTube channel. I click on upload, and just to the right of the main upload button, it asks me, "Do I want to record right into my channel?" Right. If I click yes there, I am literally recording right into my YouTube channel. I have right. the option to download that video, which automatically makes it an MP4 right then and there. No right. issues with that. Um, yep. And and it's just it's all right there. And I'm sitting at the computer because I just ripped my viral video. So now I'm sitting in front of the video. Hey guys, I'm sitting here in front of my computer today. This made me laugh. I hope it makes you laugh too. Boom. <laughs> And then go right. into that, and then once I'm done with that part, I just say, "Hey, I hope you guys laughed as much as I did at that one." And hey, I know you're—I know you're. Well, for me, it would be I know your mortgage is no laughing matter. If you'd like to have a review, give me a shout right away, or don't right. feel—you know—feel free to pass this on to your friends. You don't want to keep me a secret. Anything Absolutely. like that. I mean, it literally can take you about ten minutes to do an entire video sandwich. Once you, and I'm not talking about the first time you do it, guys. Please don't don't misunderstand that. The first time you do it, yeah, it's going to take you a minute or two until you get the steps down. But the more and more frequently you do it, the more the easier it becomes. And it's then easy. you get to start doing stuff like, do you remember when Frank Garay came on and talked about the video handoff? That yeah, was just absolutely. little 30, 40 second videos that, that it's always yeah. reiterating who you are and what you do. And keeping your name and your face fresh in front of your prospects. Right. That's it, man. That's it. 